What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to look at the Matt Hasselbeck trade, which occurred back on March 2nd, 2001. Now this was a trade between the Seattle Seahawks and the Green Bay Packers and saw Seattle acquire then Green Bay backup quarterback Matt Hasselbeck along with the 17th overall pick in the 2001 draft in exchange for the 10th overall pick and the 72nd overall pick. So how did this trade work out? We'll start by discussing the Seattle Seahawks. Now the first player we're going to look at is of course quarterback Matt Hasselbeck. Now Hasselbeck had a fir rocky first year in Seattle, but he rebounded well in the 2002 season, which earned him the starting job as he had kind of been splitting the starting job for 2001 and 2002. Now he led his team to a 10-6 record in 2003, while throwing for 3,841 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Now Arguably his most famous moment of his career occurred during the 2003 wildcard playoffs against his former team, the Green Bay Packers. This game would go into overtime, and Seattle won the coin toss. Hasselbeck famously stated, quote, We want the ball, and we're going to score, end quote. While he did end up throwing the game-winning touchdown, it was a pick six. Yeah. Now his play regressed slightly in 2004, although he did manage to throw for 3,382 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Now, he had probably the best season of his career in 2005, as he threw for 3,459 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Now, he had a strong postseason performance and helped guide Seattle to Super Bowl 40. Unfortunately for them, they would lose. Now, he had a decent year in 2006, throwing for 2,442 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions, although he did miss four games due to a sprained MCL. Now, 2007 saw him record career highs in both yards with 3,966 and touchdowns with 28. But, again, he did have a few more interceptions, so. Now, 2008 was a bit of a lost season for Hasselbeck, as a bunch of different injuries, including a back injury, which led to a nerve injury, along with a knee injury, caused him to play poorly, throwing five touchdowns to 10 interceptions across seven games. Now, he did manage to bounce back a bit in 2009 as he threw for 3,029 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 17 interceptions, although he had a tough 2010 season as he threw for 3,001 yards, 12 touchdowns, to 17 interceptions. Now, this was the year where the team made the playoffs despite having a 7-9 record, and of course, in the first round of the playoffs against the defending Super Bowl champion New Orleans Saints, we saw Marshawn Lynch have his beast mode run. Hasselbeck was the quarterback for that game. Now... After that season, he would walk as a free agent despite there was mutual interest between the team and the fans wanted him to come back. It just didn't work out. But his time in Seattle wasn't for nothing. He was a three-time Pro Bowler and he is a member of the Seattle Seahawks Ring of Honor along with being a member of the Seahawks 35th anniversary team. And like I said before, he is a big fan favorite, even to this day. Now, Seattle also got another asset, the 17th overall pick in the 2001 draft. They would use this to select guard Steve Hutchinson. Now Hutchinson would appear in 68 games over five years for the Seahawks. He would slowly de develop into one of the best guards in football. He helped Sean Alexander have his elite 2005 season before he walked. Now he is a member of the Hall of Fame, but it's also in part due to what he did in, mostly in part due to what he did in Minnesota, but he still had a good start in Seattle. He is a three-time Pro Bowler, a two-time first-team All-Pro, and a one-time second-team All-Pro while in Seattle. He's also a member of the NFL 2000's All-Decade team. So, this was a pretty good trade for Seattle. How did Green Bay do? So, they got a pair of picks into the 2001 draft. The first was, was the 10th overall pick, which was used to select defensive end Jamal Reynolds. Now, Reynolds, he would appear in only 18 games over three seasons. In that span, he recorded 18 tackles, three sacks, a pair of forced fumbles, and a pair of fumble recoveries. Now, the team actually tried to trade him away, but he would actually fail his physical. And then after that, Green Bay just said, all right, enough is enough, and they released him. Now, they also got the 72nd overall pick in the 2001 draft. They would use that to select linebacker Torrance Marshall. Now, Marshall spent four seasons as a backup and a special teams player. Over that time, he would appear in 51 games, starting in a pair of them. He recorded 77 tackles, a single sack, a pair of pass defended, passes defended, and four fumble recoveries before he walked. So it's clear who won this trade. Seattle got themselves a quarterback for about a decade and picked a future Hall of Famer who had 
three elite seasons for the team, whereas Green Bay got a pair of players that's been a combined seven years on the team, but didn't do all that much. Hope you guys enjoyed this trade. Have a good rest of your day.